All right, let me spit the straight facts. When it comes to the idol industry, K-pop performances are by far superior. They don't just sing, they go hard on the dance. Complex formation changes? Yes. Crazy footwork? Yes. Flips? Yes. K-pop dancers are tough. Full stop. But exactly how tough? In fact, is there a way to measure the difficulty of K-pop dancers? Well, recently on this channel, I have been applying machine learning and maths to analyze the synchronization levels of K-pop groups. And one of the latest upgrades to my algorithm was a dance difficulty score, which was just there to add some context to the synchronization score, which was after all the main focus. And many of you appreciated the inclusion of that dance difficulty score, which made me think, hmm, this has got some potential. All right, first, let's be clear on the language. Today, we'll be focusing on complexity rather than difficulty. Now, these terms sound similar at first, but I think the term difficulty is broad and can include factors such as strength, grace, or body control, which a computer can't calculate. Meanwhile, complexity mainly refers to the intricacy of a dance, which, as you'll see later, is something that a computer can calculate. Okay, so there are tons of K-pop dances out there which can be considered complex. So for this experiment, I only chose 10 samples to analyze. As this is just a pilot test, I thought I'd start small first and allow you guys to give feedback on my algorithm before I go full out on this. Now the 10 samples were chosen based on your recommendations on my community post, fan rankings, and opinions of the idols themselves. Each sample also had to satisfy these video quality conditions. Note that for each sample, we will only analyze the chorus dance and the dance break. The assumption is that most of the complex, flashy, and memorable moves are executed in these sections. Yes, I know some choreographies have the most complex bits in other parts of the song, but it was more important for me to narrow down the sample size and reduce the burden on my computer. Once I got my samples ready, I uploaded each sample onto my app. Detected dance videos. Performing dance analytics. The app then breaks down the sample into still frames before it analyzes the complexity of the choreography in three aspects. First, the computer analyzes the intricacy of the individual's dance moves. In other words, this measures the number of distinct poses that a dancer strikes within the given second. The more poses, the more intricate the dance. For every frame, the computer will only calculate the average intricacy score among three members in the center. This is so that if the center member ever does their own solo moves, hopefully the other two center members are doing the chorus dance to offset the center member's deviations. Second, the computer will analyze the formation changes. Basically, for every frame, the computer will count how many members are visible on screen and keep track of the headcount. If the headcount changes between frames, that suggests a formation change. Otherwise, if the headcount does not change, then the computer will calculate the change in the distance between each member's pose to infer any formation changes. Basically, the more changes, the more complex the formation change. Third, the computer will produce an acrobatic score to reflect any flashy jumps, flips, or floor movements that require acrobatic skill. Basically, the computer finds the y-intercept of the floor line and creates a base range. If the y-coordinates of the member's feet are above the base range, that suggests a jump or a flip. If the y-coordinates of the member's hands are within the base range, that suggests a floor movement. The computer keeps track of the proportion of these frames out of the total number of frames. This score won't be too high. Anything near 30% is like crazy. <laughs> and finally, we have a reliability score, which is the computer's own assessment of how reliable its calculations are. Now, there's a lot of stuff for the computer to calculate and predict, so the reliability score might be a bit lower than what you saw in a synchronization series. Okay, my brain is tired. Let's just start.
Move intricacy score is 75.64%, formation complexity score is 54.04%, acrobatic score is 20.64%. These results are 60.22% reliable. Move intricacy score is 73.02%, formation complexity score is 70.88%, acrobatic score is 2.82%, these results are 57.97% reliable. Move intricacy score is 82.15%, formation complexity score is 74.1%, acrobatic score is 32.66%, these results are 56.65% reliable. Move intricacy score is 72.68%, formation complexity score is 89.86%, acrobatic score is 9.77%, these results are 55.53% reliable. Move intricacy score is 92.3%, formation complexity score is 76.77%, acrobatic score is 12.72%, these results are 55.3% reliable.
Move intricacy score is 62.08%, formation complexity score is 79.75%, acrobatic score is 3.06%, these results are 53.94% reliable. Move intricacy score is 71.27%, formation complexity score is 68.1%, acrobatic score is 17.23%, these results are 51.19% reliable. Move intricacy score is 65.92%, formation complexity score is 67.31%, acrobatic score is 10.16%, these results are 40.27% reliable. Move intricacy score is 81.94%, formation complexity score is 25.13%, acrobatic score is 15.02%, these results are 25.52% reliable.